General Dynamics Ordnance Tactical Systems is a uh, lightweight vehicle program and an ordnance company for ammunition. On our vehicle side, which is part of our MAPS business unit, we do a program for the SOCOM Ground Mobility Vehicle 1.1, which is a very lightweight tactical vehicle, CH-47 and transportable vehicle. So what we're standing in front of is our first variant at 2016, ASA 2016. It is our lightweight reconnaissance vehicle that's built off the GMV 1.1 platform. We've taken our base platform, responded to the Army's requirements of a lightweight reconnaissance vehicle, a GMV, and also a narrow Flyer 60, which, is, which we'll talk about later. This is the first variant, which is an LRV. In the background over to the right, we'll, next we'll talk about a GMV variant, which is the 9C configuration, lightweight, 9C under primary and secondary roll cage to do a high hot or a CH-47 internal transportability. And then the third vehicle that we're going to talk about is the Flyer 60, which is a very purpose-built V-22 variant that goes in the back of a V-22 Osprey. This is a, the, fir the first variant that we've got here that you see. It's our light reconnaissance vehicle. It's in response to the Army's requirements to have a six-soldier Under Armour package with an overmatched lethality. We've got a 30-millimeter gun that carries 150 rounds of 30-millimeter up top. It can be folded down and allows us to go in internal to the CH-47 and underslung under the vehicle. Inside of our LRV, we, we have not changed the thing as far as the uh, main seating complexion for five guys. We've taken the communication suite out that adds, allows us to add our sixth person under armor. All the GMV variants and all the GMV 1.1, LRV, GMV, ULCV variants all have the same modifications from the 1.1 program, which is all the electronics, all the suspension, all the seating, center driver, all common to our platforms. You see in the back, this is six seat, allows a six seat under armor to meet the, the uh, LRV requirement. The gunner needs to get up to the weapon, simply folds the seat forward, stands up in the gunner's port and he is back behind the weapon. Again, all of our variants that we have, all of our components are mid-rear engine. Just underneath this bottom panning is our engine, complete access, check the oils, check the fluids, perform PMCS on the vehicles. This rear armor panel that you're looking at here is a, is a hinge panel that allows us to fold the panel down, fold the 30 millimeter weapon down, and drive into the CH-47 unobstructed with the weapon down and be CH-47 internally compliant. 